I don't have enough hands to make this easy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to try to fix this lamp. What happened was this cord got severed and then twisted. So when we try to turn this on, it flips the breaker. So if we come underneath here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this box out that holds it in place. We're gonna strip this, cut this off and then strip it and then hold it together with two of these and then we'll secure it with electrical tape. And hopefully it works, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. All right, there's step one. Don't keep that cord, we're gonna reuse that. I know. Get, get all the way to the edge, all the way, the, there you go. All right, sweet. This thing's gone. All right. Uh, so we're gonna take the wire strippers. And uh, it's gotta be like a pretty big one. So what you wanna do first, Andrew, is you want to separate these into two pieces. So I might just do a, a little snip in the middle. Oops. There you go. And then see if you can just like pull it back an inch or two. Right there, oh, that's probably plenty fine. Okay, good. Now you can use the wire stripper there. There you go. What we'll do is we'll just twist it. And do the other side. Okay, that side's ready. So here's what we wanna make sure we do. If you look here, this cord has a certain kind of texture on one side and it's rounded on the other. So we wanna make sure when we reconnect these is that this one that's got this like kind of lined, can you see those kind of two lines in there? Yeah. We wanna make sure that that side gets connected to the same side of the other cord. That's right. The, that's the only thing we have to do. Other than that, we should be able to just repeat the process, splice it up and we should be okay. Mm -hmm. As you can see there, one side has a little lines on it and the other looks smooth. Yep, so there's the smooth side and there's the lines. Mm-hmm. Is that gonna be enough? I think so. We don't have to have a lot. Beautiful. Where'd my strippers go? Oh, they're right here. <laughs> <laughs> that punches it down and make sure the connection yep. is I'm secure. I'm just tugging on it to make sure it's secure. Cool. Very nice. And Oh yeah. Cool. Good? I don't have enough hands to make this easy. Slight little tug there. Looks good. Okay. So, moment of truth, right? Mm hmm. Plug it in. Let's plug it in and find out if it works. We fixed it. We fixed it, right? When something like this breaks, don't throw it away. Uh, just because the cord breaks, usually like electrical cords that you're gonna use on any device 
We did this on Christine's Bosch a couple years ago. When it shorted out, we just put a new cord in it and it worked beautifully. So this one, we were able to salvage the cord and now we just kept to engineer it in here so it doesn't get pulled out again, but that's it. All right, we're just finishing up and taping it in here so it won't get pulled out again. This is not pretty. And this <laughs> is just us like trying to find a way to make sure it doesn't get pulled out. So mm -hmm. what we did is we wrapped it around this post here mm -hmm. so that to use the post as kind of a, a bit of an anchor. But I still don't know how else to like... Should we tape it to the post? I don't know how to. There's not like a lot of posts to tape to. Let's not open this up again and show anybody what we actually did. <laughs> right? I'm afraid that's gonna come. That's... Yeah, but what, the thing is the screws... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The screws will go right, right in there. Right, and it'll hold it down. In fact, there's a screw that's gonna go right through that hole right there as well. And I think the screws will kind of anchor that so it won't pull out. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the back side, but it's pretty firm. So it's not as pretty on the back, but. Thank you. We have officially fixed the Otlite cord. Yep. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time.